Well, um, I think that our festival, you know, really brought forth um, the diversity within the Asian community. Because oftentimes, um, Asian culture is, is mistake as a monolith culture. Like we all eat the same, dress the same, you know, um, have the same tradition and, 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 and custom. Uh, but we don't. Uh, within just uh, a single Asian community, there are sub, um, you know, cultural in there. Uh, for example, in Vietnam, you know, just Vietnam alone, there's 54 ethnic groups. And so there's a, a lot of different cultural and diversity within one Asian community. And so we want this festival to bring forth that diversity and showcase the diversity within the Asian community and also just to bring the community together. I think my favorite part of the festival is to see how people come together, um, you know, seeing the, the rainbow of color from different um, cultural and tradition, seeing the young people up on stage doing their thing, you know, um, showcasing their, their culture and keeping that culture alive. I think that's my favorite part of the, of the festival. Our goal was to make sure we brought cultural awareness into our community and to help educate people and bridge awareness. Um, that was one of the things and just having all the attendees, participants in the, at this event just makes it, um, it just helps to bring again cultural awareness uh, so that people can celebrate their culture and educate one another and um, to create a safe space for people um, to promote diversity within our community. So our goal last year was to learn from our mistakes but then also take in the feedback from our community and we took that and we grew this event bigger than it is last year and our goal is to do it year after year and make it bigger. Um, that is our goal, and to make this a more traditional, uh, historical event for the city of Coralville. Um, our performance is a, it's Bollywood, and we performed Chamak Chalo and Disco Devani. It was, it was pretty quick. It was just like a little two-minute Bollywood dance that we did for Walk It Out. So it was pretty easy to just like, we had less people, so we were able to like, just, I guess, fix it so that we could have, have it for six. Um, it comes from like Bollywood movies. So like we kind of just took songs that were like really popular in movies. They have like dance choreographies already and we kind of like changed some steps and we kind of took some from like the original music video. So yeah, that was... Yeah, Bollywood kind of, it's like really big on the music aspect too. So um, I guess in India we just focus a lot on music and dance so we just kind of embodied that. And like it's pretty important to us because we've been doing it for most of our lives so we just... I don't know, it's just, it's something that we'll always take every opportunity to do. Yep. That Indian culture is cool and fun. <laughs> we love our, up, you know, we wear these cool outfits. We get to like, kind of show off what we're wearing, you know, and we get to like show people that like, this is a culture that we're proud of and, you know, we're proud of it. So we're gonna get up there and dance for them. So we did a performance that was really similar to our performance in Walk It Out, which is like, um, we started with drama and then a trio dance of Wannabe, another trio dance of Easy, group dance of Perfect Night, and then Seven, and then Super Shy. And then, it was, yeah, it was really good. Well, first of all, it's just like a passion of mine and ours to be dancing on stage and of course to be representing like the Asian communities and spreading the culture of like, not just K-pop, but like, like cultural awareness in general. So I feel like for us, it's really meaningful to be having this chance to stand on the stage of Asian Fest to perform. Just like the energy and the passion of dancing and K-pop in general.